Welcome back to the Civic Side TV News Show. I'm your host, Jake Kraus, reporting from Washington, D.C. This week, we have a special field trip to the National Book Festival and an exciting opportunity to get involved in science policy. So be sure to watch until the very end. Fat acid heat. Salt, fat, acid, heat, that's right. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. We're going to close the book on heat for right now. As part of the National Book Festival in the nation's capital, this year there is a new STEM corner, an area of the exhibition hall dedicated to science demonstrations. A robot simulates how astronauts navigate a rover to different outposts on Mars. National Science Foundation education specialists showcase chemistry demos with color-changing chemicals and fun with liquid nitrogen. We put a gas in there, but when we make that gas really cold, it likes to shrivel up. It doesn't want to take up very much space. Because it's warm, they get to spread out. This is known as Charles' Law of Gases. The book festival also features conversations with authors who write about science. Algorithmic Justice League founder Joy Bulamwini and author Kyle Cheka talk about their books on artificial intelligence in conversation with NPR's Regina Barber and highlight the importance of making these tools work for us. The four C's of consent, compensation, uh, credit, and control. Science research conducted by the Library of Congress was also shared with visitors. Scientists explained the tools used to understand the condition of texts and determine printing materials. The name is not the same. And what do I actually mean by that? I mean that out of a set of five copies of the same exact title, at least one is different in some way. Book restoration practitioners also study books and determine what lies underneath redacted passages such as a love letter from Alexander Hamilton to Elizabeth Schuyler. The team also found that Thomas Jefferson originally wrote subjects, then smudged out and changed the word to citizens, a critical development of U.S. democracy in real time. Other booths and featured conversations focused on engaging girls in learning to code and engage with STEM. NASA scientists talked about the importance of dark skies and reducing light pollution to help the environment and astronomers. If you're a scientist interested in getting involved in science policy, new applications are open for the Merzean Science and Technology Policy Fellowships. Current or recent graduates in science programs, typically PhDs, can explore science policy over 12 weeks in Washington, D.C. Based at the National Academies of Sciences, fellows will be matched with a particular unit and mentor and will be able to network with science policy experts from March through May 2025. Be sure to apply by September 9th. Thank you so much for watching this week's Civic Science News Roundup. Subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on the latest news and opportunities in civic science. I'm looking forward to seeing you next time.